Good morning, beloved brothers and sisters. It is October the 4th in the year 2019. The time, 9.59, almost 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The sun is shining, but there's a fall chill in the air. Temperature's in the lower 50s right now. I've got my coffee with cream and no sugar. Let me know, what are you going to share with PD as we begin this day together? Hang on. All right, a couple of things I want to go over with you today. I was on the night watch last night, couldn't sleep, up and down all night. And uh, I shared a, a story of a man, a single father with his children, homeless on the street in Pontiac, Michigan. And I shared that on both of my channels, this channel and my backup channel, or if you're watching this on the backup channel, my main channel, either way. I'm actually heading out to uh, Flint and Pontiac, uh, Michigan today. But a lot of comments on that video, but one thing I want to uh, uh, stress is I see this all the time. I see this on a regular basis, almost a daily basis. Whether it's a, a single mother with her children, homeless, a father, many, many more single dads out there with no place or their self or their children. But where the problem lies in is when you try to get into a shelter, a 501c3, a state one shelter that puts up all of the red flags with CPS, uh, Child Protective Services. And uh, I think Sister Linda Diane was asking about setting up a GoFundMe campaign. I think there's one for this gentleman. But then you're getting the government involved uh, through the IRS and it's setting off more red flags. I've seen this over and over again, and it's sad. It's the evil world that we live in. If you're a single mom, a single dad, and you have your children and you are homeless. I've seen this in Flint, Michigan, when they opened the warming center. Um, the children are not there very long. The CPS, the state, they swoop in and take the kids. It's almost like you, a, a no-win situation. It's almost like you want to stay under the radar. So uh, we got to pray about this situation. I'm going to Pontiac, see if I can uh, locate, uh, locate this uh, gentleman with the children today. I'm not sure. I'm going to do the very best that I can. But that is the reality. To get in a shelter, you really don't need to be in a shelter. You, you have to have an income whether a job or be on SSI or disability or social services, you have to have a bridge card, what they call it in Michigan, or food stamps. It replaces food stamps. And you have to sign that over to the shelter. The 501c3 is governed by the state. It's operated by the state to, uh, to have that tax-exempt status. So the state moves in. They take your uh, SSI check or your disability and your food stamps, and that's what they use to feed you and lodge you with. If you don't have ID, if you've lost everything and you, you don't have any income right now, you can't even get into a shelter. But if you have children, that's the sad part. If you have children, uh, CPS, the state is quick to move in. So we gotta be very careful. That's why you don't see on my channel a lot of footage with children I'm trying to, try to keep it under the radar, keep it under the radar. And it's sad, every winter in Flint, Michigan at the uh, warming center, they'll come in with their children, families with their children, and uh, of course, having to sleep on a hard floor with a blanket, no pillow, with your children, CPS moves in and uh, separates the families. And that's what's so heartbreaking about the reality of homelessness. I want to thank, um, I believe it's Brother Mark, let me uh, let me make sure. Brother Mark, who gave an offering uh, this morning of $60 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. All right, next up, pray for this family, pray for all of the homeless, pray for Pastor Dave as I head out today. It's There's more to deal with than any of you have any idea. It all looks good, it sounds good. Let's get them into a shelter. The kids will be taken care of. 
let's set up GoFundMe pages, which I believe has been done for this uh, this father with his children. But when you do, you're you're putting up the alarm bells, the the red flags, and you just gotta you want to stay under the radar. You want to stay under the radar. So pray for this ministry as I head out uh, today. Someone a while back asked me if I had a Patreon account, and I do. Haven't been over there in a while, um, but I'm back. I'm uploading videos. I I uploaded the entire the entire interview with Brother Jamie Feltz, who actually died, seen Jesus, got a glimpse of heaven. So it's about an hour, a little bit over an hour, the entire interview that uh, come to find out was on uh, uh, was aired on Sid Ross. It's supernatural. So go over to Patreon. Let me show you where it's at real quick. Hang on. So follow me over here over on Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com forward slash Pastor Dave. And uh, set this up a while back. Um, let's see. And here is the entire A Trip to Heaven and Back. Amazing story revisited. Full video of my interview with man who died and got to see Jesus and heaven. And uh, you can follow me over at Patreon. I've got uh, some other uh, Karate versus yoga, should Christians practice karate? Plague of locusts, millions of locusts blacken out the sun in parts of Mexico. So I've got some content uh, over there, and I created this a while back. Really haven't done much with it until now, so I'll be uh, uh, posting videos over at Patreon as well. So make sure to come over and follow us over at Patreon. So follow me over at Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Pastor Dave. Heading out to Flint and Pontiac. If you find it in your heart, if the Holy Spirit moves upon you to help with this homeless outreach ministry, we are an outreach to the lost, the poor, and the homeless, and we need your help. All the links will be below where it says show more. Click on that show more tab. The link to Patreon is there as well. God bless you.